Welcome back everybody. Well, I'm out here uh, on the coast range, right along the highway and uh, I'm gonna do something that I've been trying to do for a really long time. I, uh, as I've driven out to the coast, I've noticed that there's, right along the river here, you know, there's a lot of creeks and stuff that feed into this and uh, I just, uh, I saw that there's a pretty big waterfall back here and I've, oh, I've so badly wanted to take photos of it, but realizing that uh you know kind of the only way to get to it is to cross the river here and uh and then kind of hike up this little creek that's that's up here so i'm going to try to get some photos up there and uh i don't know we're going to see how this works my big hope is that we've had a lot of uh late winter snow out here in the coast range and that uh that that's causing you know a decent amount of water to come over the waterfall what's really really cool is that as i've gotten down to the river i'm noticing that up the river and you probably can't see it from here but up the river i'm seeing another waterfall come in and, and shoot that is making <laughs> almost cussed uh -huh. that's making for a really nice looking photo right now with the light coming through so i might try to go snap a picture of that and then get up into this uh into this bigger falls and i I don't know, this could be amazing or it could be a total bust, but you know, I had to uh, wade her up just across the river here and uh, I don't know, we're gonna see how this goes. So hopefully, uh, hopefully something cool comes out of it. As you can see, probably it's a little cold out here, but hopefully the sun's gonna come out, warm us all up and uh, make for a really, really fun day. So let's go. made it across there's so many waterfalls through here and the light is amazing Looks pretty awesome. I think I'm getting a good composition here, you know. The waiter's paying off, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can't snap the shot and show you. I have to, uh, I'm getting a little bit of a sun, sun spot on here on the, uh, on the lens, so I'm having to use my hand as kind of a break, but uh, let's, I'll see if I can show you here.
it's pretty much impossible to see on here. But of course, that's the beauty of these videos is that I'll put up any of the good photos at the end. So what I really love is that this rock here is making a really nice foreground for the waterfall behind. And then the sun is back out here, just shining through that light, making for some really, really cool, cool light, cool composition. Uh, I might play around with a few different ones, but then we'll go back downstream and get to the main event. But but I'm also just kind of waiting for that sun to kind of round the corner, hopefully so it's shining on that waterfall and uh, see if I can get the drone up. But yeah, who knows? It's, uh, it's a tight tree canopy in here and I'm no expert on the drone, so we'll see. As cool as that might look, it's coming out of a culvert, so it's not really that exciting. <laughs> That's how it goes. This is pretty, but it's not the main event. The main event's up here, and I think that there's multiple main events, but we're gonna find out. We're going exploring. see from here but there's three three waterfalls that I can see there's a double and then a big one behind it so let's see if we can get a composition there's a lot of alders in the way but hey okay. we'll see this is amazing we'll get close and uh, yeah better get some photos Camera doesn't do it any justice. Never does. Huh. Cool. Let's see what we can do. Well, I hiked up to the top, scrambled up the hill. That's gonna be fun getting down, but here's when I'm going up. That's the top of what you just seen. And that's the upper waterfall. Looks like there's a way I can get down, but I'm obviously being, being trying to be very careful because I'm by myself, so as you should. But uh, the great thing is, is I'm actually following an elk track up here. And, you know, now that I'm up here, I'm seeing this amazing pool and I'm thinking to myself, you know, when it's the summertime and it's, you know, 90, 100 and something, I think I'm going to get in that pool. I can't even begin to tell you how cool that is. Uh, I'm so glad I uh, was able to do it. I tried to get the drone up for a second and the wind coming off the waterfall is just so intense. So uh, not feeling that comfortable with trying to uh, trying to do that. So um, I think I've kind of got everything I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna see about maybe uh, 
We'll be trying to do a little bit more exploring and find some new stuff. The, there's a lot of snow still, so in the, in the higher elevations, but there's a couple of spots I got maybe uh, an idea of trying to get to and just getting some photos and maybe some more video, but uh, what a day, what a day I'm having. So I don't, I don't get to do these solo trips much and as much as I love the company, I also love just being able to really take the time and, and not feel like I'm, I'm holding somebody up, but really taking the time to uh, get some photos and, and just enjoy the, the space too. And uh, you know, uh, I don't know, I just drink it in, you know, it's such a, such a great thing. So I don't know, we'll keep exploring. I'm gonna see if I can get off this hillside in uh, one piece and uh, I'm, I've learned when you're doing this stuff and this rugged kind of off trail stuff, you know, obviously you want to tread lightly, but find the animal trails, you know, and, and uh, they, they know the best way. <laughs> we, we don't always do that. We always tend to go, go in a straight line and you know, they, 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 they're, they're smarter than us. Of course, they have, a lot of them have two more legs than we do, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get back down to the river, back down the truck and then see what else is down the road. So let's do it. Better look where I'm going. Who's with me? I tried to get up the hill and it's too much snow, so I had to turn around. It was fun, I had to back down quite a ways because it wasn't a really good spot to turn around. That that truck with the camper on it, it's just not, it's so heavy and it's, you know, it's kind of hard in the snow and I didn't I didn't let any tire pressure out or anything like, or air pressure out of the tires and so. I just, I wasn't feeling it. Also being solo, you know, just, it's not always the best idea to put yourself in those kind of situations. So, it wasn't bad, but didn't need to risk it. So here I am, stopped on the side of the river. And I'm, uh, have a nice little lunch snack here. So it's a gorgeous day. One of the, uh, we're right before spring now. So the weather's really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this. And, well, and we'll see what else we can get ourselves into.
Well, I think I'm wrapping it up. I think that, uh, I think I got everything that I needed out of that. Um, I really, really just wanted to get up to those waterfalls and I think there's more up there. Uh, I think, you know, kind of looking at some satellite images and looking at the topography of it, it's, it looks uh, promising. So it looks like there's a road that I can potentially drive up, come off the side of and then kind of bushwhack down into that, uh, into that upper section and, and maybe see if there's more waterfalls. But I don't know that now because every time I try to gain elevation, I hit snow. And I'm just not not feeling like trying to blast through snow when I'm by myself. And I just don't want to dig. So I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I really, really, really am excited about uh, some of the photos that I got. I think that that waterfall is just absolutely in incredible. And, and, you know, it's that... It's that kind of old adage of just, you know, you work a little bit harder and you get, you get a lot of reward out of it. So cool, 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 cool. But, uh, yeah, as usual, the photos will be at the end and, uh, maybe even dispersed throughout, but, uh, we'll see. Um, I don't think, I don't, I don't think I have any more. So, uh, thanks for coming along for the journey. We'll see you again next time. Cheers.